Um, I haven't done a video in a while. It's, are my eyebrows even? It's really weird doing a video looking at yourself in the webcam. And I can't, it looks like my eyebrows aren't even. I'm not really okay with that. Are my eyebrows even? Tell me in the comment box. <laughs> um, yes, I haven't done a video in a while. Probably in more than a month. Um, I just wasn't really in the mood for it. I don't know. I just kept putting it off and I think it's because after I made a decision to try to stop trying to have a baby I just felt kind of boring and I didn't really have anything to talk about and then I did have something to talk about and I didn't make a video so I'm gonna go back to last month no the beginning of this month I had a trip planned to go to Portland for um, to visit my sister who lives in Portland and my mom was going to. My mom lives in California, my sister lives in um, Oregon, and I live in North Carolina. So it was like a spontaneous deal and I was so excited because I miss them so much. And um, so it was kind of spontaneous and my husband said go for it and I was really excited and I got a good deal on airfare. Anyways, so I even though I wasn't like taking my temperature and doing all that stuff I was trying to be more laid back I still of course in the back of my mind was like okay I am gonna ovulate because I'm still a girl you know I'm trying to have a baby so I'm gonna I thought I was gonna ovulate like right before I went on my trip like two or three days before I went on my trip so I was happy about that so I was like okay cool um, it really helped me to not be taking my temperature and stuff because it's, for me, you know, anyways, it's just going to tell you right after you ovulate, not like before. And I don't, I had those ovulation predictor strips, but I was trying not to take those because I was just getting too wrapped up in my head. But anyways, I still had in my mind, well, according to last month's chart, it looks like I should be ovulating around this time. So I was, I was excited because, um... It wasn't going to be while I was in Portland, so there was still a shot. I'm sure you guys know how that is. So I I um, was getting ready to go to work. I was on a double. And I came home for lunch, and I was hanging out, chilling, and then it was time for me to go back to work. And I went to the bathroom and right before I left, and I started my period. <laughs> 10 days earlier than I thought I was going to start my period. Because um, last month I had a 38 day cycle. So I was kind of basing it on that. And then this was like the 28th day or something. And I started my period. I was crushed. I was so sad. Um, and that feeling was really really heavy <laughs> I like was I seriously I know you guys can know that emotion of like I so then because I hadn't been taking my temperature I had no idea if I had even ovulated that month so then I started freaking out now because I tried to not try I don't even know if I ovulated and this sucks and like I was just really I got super emotional I'm like using my computer's webcam and every time I move it's like moving <laughs> oh my gosh that's terrible I don't know if that's gonna work out hopefully that's not too annoying I just realized that um okay so I get in the car and I'm super bummed out and <sighs> so I started praying and I just told the Lord Lord I'm so sad. Like I tried to not, tr I tried not to worry about it this month, but and this is what I get. Like I start my period early. I don't know if I ovulated. Like I want to have a baby, and this is just sucks. So as I'm just opening my heart, I'm driving, and as I'm driving, the car in the lane next to me is stopped because he's trying to wait for the oncoming traffic so that he can make a left-hand turn and the traffic coming in the opposite direction, a car 
wanted to do the same thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but that person trying to make a left-hand turn from the other side of the street couldn't see the cars coming because this car was blocking their view. So this car just decided to go for it. And as it's going for it, he like jets out to the point where he sees me the last second and slams on his brakes <clears throat> and I'm able to go around him. But if he wouldn't have seen me in that last second, he would have seriously, because he was going pretty, he was taking that turn pretty fast. Like, I don't even feel like he stopped. He would have T-boned me. And it would have been bad. Because I was going like 45, because it's, that was the speed limit. And I always go the speed limit. <laughs> no. Um, maybe I was going faster. But um, it would have been so bad. And right after that, I just felt like the Lord said, Tiffany, I am in control of everything. Like, do you believe that I'm in control of everything or not? And I just realized in that moment, if I would have gotten in that car accident, the last thing on my mind would have been that I just started my period. You know what I mean? Um, so I just felt like this relief come over me, and I just... I don't know. I was okay. I wasn't sad anymore. I just had this feeling. First of all, thank you, <laughs> Lord, that I did not just get in that terrible car accident. And thank you that you are taking care of every detail of my life, you know? And um, so I felt much better. I go to Portland, have a blast. <clears throat> Me and my mom and my sister and my best friend lives there. It was a great time. Really, really, really fun. So, I've also been praying to the Lord that, um, I think I might have told you this before, but can you just make me and my husband get in the mood and want to have some sexy time right when I'm ovulating, like, so that I don't have to feel like I'm trying, like, come on, babe, I'm ovulating, let's do it. I was like, Lord, just make us, like, get us in the mood when you know it's the perfect time to have a baby. I was like, God is so practical. Why could I not pray like that, you know? So, that's what I prayed. <laughs> and when I got back from Portland, um, yeah, dude, um, it was on. <laughs> um, it was really weird being away from him. I don't like to be away from him. You know, we're kind of still newlyweds. We've only been married a year. So I missed him a lot. And, um, yeah, we, like, had a couple days there where um, it was good. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to stop this video so that I could do another one because I don't want to go over our time. Okay, but um, I don't mean to, like, keep y'all hanging, but I have good news. <laughs>